I'll leave her to her own devices for now. Uh, hand grenade will be useful. Another hand grenade. And yeah, okay, that's everything I believe. And I figure they're gonna knock this over soon. That's the way it normally works. Yeah, going for headshots. They do the maximum damage. This pistol actually has a critical hit chance, which is actually kind of awesome because it does pretty well. It's not the best game, uh, weapon in the game by any means, but if you hit him in the head, then you know uh, it is, you know, as you see, quite potent. Um, Okay, so we got guys popping out everywhere. Um, actually, one of the main keys, at least at this beginning, is to keep moving. Uh, no, I gotta, I gotta get used to this. I keep trying to. Punch him. Oh, wrong guy. Oh well. Let's go inside. Uh, pick up. Pick up all this. Oh, I need to go upstairs. Yeah, you just gotta keep moving. Um, that is one of the main keys, is to keep going. You stand still, you're gonna be in lots of trouble. Uh, so... Ow. Yeah, I shouldn't have reloaded right next to him, but oh well. Um, I'm also trying to keep an eye out where that big dude is. Yeah. The big guy. Uh, oh, I need to be moving. I need to be moving right now. I'm sorry. I know I'm kind of leaving her for dead for now, but I mean, I'd, my goal is to stay alive and to pick up as much as possible. No, there's not. I have full handgun ammo. Okay, time to get out of here. Big guy's coming. And I've got one more thing I want to go pick up. Come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay. You grab it. Roger. Yeah, you pick up that handgun ammo. The goal of this beginning is just to survive. Um. You grab it. Yeah, this game's a lot uh, more tense than some of the other games I've played because you're constantly, uh, you're not always like this, but for a good bit of it, you are running for your life. Um, didn't mean to jump down. Did not mean to jump down. I'm going back upstairs. Um, yeah, so there's, there's a lot of, uh, it's a very large game in the fact that there's lots of places to, to run around to. Um, right now I'm just trying to kind of, more, I'm trying to stay away from everybody. Thank you. Uh, yeah. 
Here he is. Um, I can kill the, the big guy and get, I think it's a gold bracelet or a gold ring, which is worth 5,000. It's very useful. I wish I could get it. But with the pistol, um, and me not being the most familiar with these controls, um, I'm not, you know, 100% confident in my abilities, I guess, at this point. So I got 1,500 points. See, I got much better accuracy in the in the 360 version. I'm shooting for about 60. That's really good for me, actually. So, and here is kind of the, like the in-between mission shop screen. Uh, you can do all kinds of things. I'm actually going to uh, combine uh, red and green together. Give you full health. Uh, I think green and green gives you like 75 or 80 percent, and then one is honestly I don't know. Uh, uh, let's remove that. Um, move to there. All right. Uh, I'm actually going to sell her pistol um, because I'm going to sell both these extra pistols. I'm uh, not. Um, doing it because I don't want her to have a weapon. I am just not going to have her use the pistol. I'm going to be using the pistol. And so, it's much easier to have both people, you know, use different weapons because you can manage ammo much better. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll give her some herbs. Uh, this first aid spray right here will give you full health as well. Um, but I am going to upgrade. Let's see what I've got. I've got 1700. Reload speed. Uh, I'm just going to leave that for now. And I'm going to leave her weapon. Let's see. Can we buy anything fun? No. Okay, can't buy anything fun for now. Uh, Alright, let's go to the next mission. Our next part of the chapter. You can thank me later. Chris, Sheva, it's almost time for Alpha Team to go in. Hurry to the deal coordinates. Roger that. I'm going on ahead. We'll meet up there. Good luck. Okay, the only reason I ran back is to see if there were any boxes left, but no, once you... See, even that box over there is gone. So if you didn't pick up that weapon there, it is gone for good. Or not, for, or at least until you play it again. Um, I just enjoy jumping out of windows. Nothing back there. Here's an interesting little thing. See how far that is away? I can both knife it and pick it up. But, I don't know. Not totally fun, but it was fun for me. And, um, yeah, the reason I'm playing this on normal, for one, I haven't played a new game in quite a long time. In my 360, I, you know, after you beat the game, you kind of play a new game plus where you start out with everything you made it through the first game with. And 
you know, it changes the way you play the game. You can unlock things like unlimited ammo. Okay. And all kinds of things. So, I mean, it definitely does change how you fight enemies, how you manage your ammo, all kinds of things. I mean, when one of the first things I got was not even unlimited ammo for me. If I could get unlimited ammo for my partner, then I don't have to manage her ammo, which definitely changes how you play the game. So, all right, we got a broken ladder. Right, here's one of the parts of the co-op is pretty cool. Um, you actually send your partner here up to an area that you can't reach by yourself, and she can explore. We can't get in from here. Okay. So she can't get in from there, but she saw that there was a key in there. 